Hello and welcome back for another video. Today I'll be teaching you hopefully everything you need to know to master paired cables or combination cables. When I say paired cables, I mean having two cables right next to each other and when one moves to the left, the other one moves to the right. They basically mirror each other. Just a little tip for you, when knitting pair cables, the tension gets really really tight as you have two cables next to each other. Before knitting any rows after you've done your cable, you should pull the needles all the way out. As you can see here, the needles are very close to each other. There is a risk that they will catch onto each other when you knit. But to be on the safe side, you can push them in a bit after. As you can see now, they are farther apart and there is less risk for things to get messy. The first one I'm going to show you is the open cable pair. They cross outwards. So I've got my 8 stitches for the two cables and I left one needle out of action each side that will create two ladders. I'm doing now the first cable of the pair and I will cross out and then in. Out and in. And then for the second cable, I will again cross out and then in, like so. Out in So I have just completed my first pair of cables. I'm going to be knitting 6 rows in between every transfer. I'm going to create another pair just like I did before. For me it was a bit difficult to understand cables at the beginning, but now they are my favorite technique. I will show you how I drew them and I hope this will help you understand them easier. So I draw them like this on squared paper. I have 4 stitches per cable and 2 cables next to each other. I will mark row 0 and row 6 as I will be crossing them every 6 rows. So when you draw these kind of cables you have to imagine that you are sitting on the machine and you see the cables from behind. I will draw the stitches that will be at the front in a different color and this way I know the ones that go outwards will always be at the front for this particular pair of cables. This is how cables are actually drawn in books, but I think for beginners, color would help make it easier to follow. This is what worked for me when I first started to do more complicated cables. 
Second pair of cables that I'm going to show you is the closed cable pair. This will look like an upside down open pair of cables. So I'm crossing in and then out for the first cable. In, out. And then in and then out for the second cable. In, out. We'll need again six rows and then do the next pair. So again, I'm drawing the stitches that will be in the front in yellow and then I will know that these stitches will be transferred first. The last one I'm going to show you is a combination of the two pairs that we've done before. For the first pair, I'll cross out and then in. And then again out and then in. Knit 6 rows. For the next pair, I'll cross in and then out. In, out. Knit another six rows. And then again out and then in. And continue like so until you get bored of cables.
I know that the way I'm drawing the cables is not the actual way they are drawn in books, but this is the way I have learned cables and how it made sense to me as it was difficult to understand instructions from the books at the beginning. I really hope this video was clear and you managed to knit along. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video.